All right, welcome to the Zool backyard. We're, uh, I'm here to teach my uh, six-year-old, as you can tell, she's super excited, how to effectively hit a ball. We're gonna answer two questions, Edie. All right, you with me? This is Edie, by the way. Edie, can you look at the camera and say hi? Hi. All right. So, we're gonna answer two things today. We're gonna answer how, what are the three main things that you need to do in order to hit a ball off of a tee effectively, okay? So what are, how many things? Three, three. Okay, and then the other thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna help answer what we do is once the ball is hit, what the next step is for in t-ball and in baseball. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to just check and see kind of what you know already. So if you could, why don't you come on over here and I want you to just swing the bat the way you the way you that you think it's done. Okay. All right, so I'm going off of what you're saying and I can tell that you're a right hand, okay? So do you know your right hand from your left hand? Well, you think, okay, those are your hands. All right, why don't you put the bat down? Let's, let's warm up here, let's get this activated. So, do you know how to play Simon Says? Okay, let's say Daddy Says, okay? Or no, that sounds really weird. Let's just say Simon Says, so I'm Simon, all right? So if Simon Says, raise your right hand, what would you do? Are you confident that that's your right hand? Yes. Okay. Simon says, raise your left hand. Okay, are you confident that that's your left hand? Yes. How do you know it's your left hand? Well, it's because I know my hand Okay, so you're using your piano experience, in case you didn't hear because of the wind, you're using your piano experience and you know that this is your left hand, yes. okay? And it also makes a what? That you, this is a right hand, so you, said, you said this is a left hand. Oh, perfect, so you're correcting your teacher, that's even better. Okay, so I know that you can do this. Okay, Simon says jump up and down. Simon says jumping jacks. Let's go, let's warm it up, let's warm it up. All right, Simon says do the twist, do the twist, all right. Don't twist too much, keep it clean. All right, so let's let's get at this right now. So you know your right hand from your left hand, yes. and we know that you swing right-handed, correct? Okay, let's see. Let's see you just get up here and let's, let's take a shot. Hit the ball the way you feel you can do it. All right. Whoa, went over the fence. That's quite that amazing. Yeah, all right, so this is good. Now, let's, do you feel like you can take it to the next level? Yes. You do? Are you pretending to be Harry Potter right now? Yes. Okay, good. Awesome. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Proper stance. Remember, we talked about three things that we're going to be talking about today. First thing is stance. Do you know what I mean when I say stance? Do you stand with the way your, you're going to have to put the ball? Exactly, right? So you're, you're where you stand. So if you stand there, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a guide here. Okay, so this is going to be under you your... Don't put tape on me. I'm not going to put tape on you. Okay, don't worry about it. All right, so, all right, do you want this under your right or your left? I want you under my right. All right, so we're going to do the green one under your right foot, which is what foot? All right, perfect. So you're going to end up standing right there, okay? So you want that your feet shoulder apart, okay? So your shoulder width apart. So your left foot would go where? Right there, okay? So we're going to do the blank one. And that's going to be your left foot. Now, put the bat. Hold on to the bat. The set, that's the first part of the ascent. The the three main components of, of hitting a ball, right? Is stance. The second one is grip. Second one is what? Grip. Grip. So the first one is what? First one is stance. Stance. Grip. Is grip. Yep. Now, do you know what I mean when I say grip? No. Okay. Grip is when you use your hands and you're going to oh, grip yeah. the bat. Okay, so if the green card is underneath your right foot, where do you think we're gonna put the the the, re, the green piece of tape? Under your right yeah. hand, exactly. All right. So I'm not gonna put tape on you. Now, what you're gonna do is your right hand is gonna go on top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this just so you know that that's where that is. And your left hand, since you're a right hander, right hand is dominant. Right hand goes on top. Left hand goes underneath. Okay, so just like it's that. Feel it feels weird, but guess what? You're gonna hit the ball farther than you did before. I believe it. Do you believe it? If you believe it, say yeah. Yeah. All right. So. I try to hit it over that green tree. That's
That's awesome. That's called confidence, and I believe you can. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put the ball on here. First main component to hitting the ball is what? Stance. Stance. Second is? Grip. Okay, what do you think the third one is? Do you have any idea? Okay. Always watching the ball, but the third one is going to be elbows up. up. Elbows up. Exactly. So we've got first component is what? Third, second component is? Grip. Third component is? <laughs> Elbow, exactly. All right. Now, okay, first one is? Stance. Stance. Second one is? We got stance. We got grip. We got elbows. Uh-huh. Now, stance. Grip. I said elbows. All right. Now, we worked out the twist. What you're going to do is with that elbow up, you're gonna just twist and come right on through, okay? Eye on the ball, all right. Oh, right, you wanna step back? That's good, adjust your feet. Remember, shoulder width apart. Let's swing on through, ready? Bend, yeah, bend your knees, yeah, yeah, just like this, and then swing on through. And ladies and gentlemen, you can't see that on the camera, but that did go almost as far as that first shot. Are you ready to try a second one? So, again, walk me through the steps. Stance, grip, elbow. All right, elbow up. Here we go, swing on through. Awesome, that would have been straight shot right between second and short, that would have been a base hit. All right, let's try one more time. Walk me through again. Awesome. Again. That is consistent, same spot as that last shot. Okay, so do you think, oh, here we go. No, six year olds. All right, what? Hello, hello. Okay, all right. Here, let's take, let's take a quick break here. Let's, let's do, let's do, here, put the bat down. Let's try something different. Cause I'm gonna shake it up. All right, right hand in the air. All right, change the light bulb. Just work it up, stretch it out. All right, left hand, left hand. Let's do both hands. Let's do both hands. All right, you ready to get back in it? All right, here we go. I'm gonna take the tape off. I removed your foot stance. I'm gonna see if you can do this without any assistance. Walk me through the steps. Step, grip, elbow up. Step, stance, grip. Elbow up. Oh, and you bring in the song, that's awesome. All right, let's see it, nice and easy. confident about your 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 batting swing yes. okay how confident are you confident or really confident really confident really confident all right so I said we're gonna try doing a couple things right first thing is we're gonna do the three components yeah. which are what Second thing I said is we're gonna what what, what we're gonna do when once the ball is hit. Okay. Now you've seen some baseball, correct? Yeah. You're, you're in t-ball right now. Okay. Instead of baseball, yeah, t-ball, baseball, two different things, but yeah, one would say it's the same, but it's okay. Exactly. Exactly. So here here's what we're gonna do. So after the ball is hit, what do you think you do? Two things. You run the bases. You run to what base? First, second, third. Yep, first base, home. right? And then second, third, and then home, okay? So, oh, you want to put second base where it needs to be? Or that second base, why don't you put third base, okay? That's good. So now it, our, our yard kind of looks like a baseball field, right? Miniature version, but it's fine. And said it's just not same. Exactly. So here's what's going to happen. First thing, there's two things that you need to do once the ball is hit. You're going to gently put the ball bat down. Okay? You're going to gently put it down. 
Because if you were to throw it, what could happen? It could hit somebody's face, and I don't want that to happen. It could hit somebody's face, and we don't want that to happen. Exactly. <laughs> High five. Like it. All right. Stay far! All right. Here we go. All right. So we're going to gently place the bat, and then we're going to run as fast as we can to first base. Okay? So imagine you just hit the ball. Gently put it down. Here, grab the bat. Grab the bat. We'll start Stop from the top. People. Exactly, and then you run all the bases, and you come all the way around, and sporty spice. All right, that is a point. So here's what's going to happen. Let's start from the beginning. So there's basically five things that we're, I'm going to test you yes. on right now, okay? Three components of, an, of, a, of a good swing, which is what? I'll fix the, walk me through it. Three components to an effective swing. Deals with these things. What do we call that? Stance. stance, exactly. So stance. So let's get in your stance. So we've got stance. We've got what next? Grip. Grip, elbow. Okay. When I say go, you're going to swing, hit the ball. Once you nail the ball, then what do we do? Um, place the... Place the bat down. Place the bat down and run to first. All right, and you can run all the bases if you want. That's awesome. Okay, are we ready? Walk me through it. You don't have any guides. This is all you right now. Let's test your knowledge. All right, awesome. All the way through, and that was easily the, oh, and a slide home. That's, that's an additional, that's a bonus point. We're gonna extend your learning and give extra credit. All right. Does the bonus point mean that's two points? Yeah, two points. You have two points for this, this imaginary game. All right, so. It's now you're up to bat. Imagine this is a t-ball game. Walk, talk me through, just like you do in Taekwondo. Talk me through your steps. I give you the bat. What do we need to do? Dance, grip, elbow up, and then you're going to swing, and then do what? Gently place the bat down, run to first. All right? Are we ready? Set. Gently places. She runs the bases. Coming on home, going for extra points, and a slide, and it is good. All right, so. Yep, here we go. Let's do this right now. I want you to, in your ability, I'm gonna get, I want to have you give me a thumbs down, thumbs in the middle, or a thumbs up. Tell me how confident do you feel about uh, hitting the ball off the tee in an effective way and, and being the best baseball player you can. Double thumbs up. So I asked for just one. So get, tell me, tell me why you chose two thumbs up. Because it was awesome. It was awesome, you're awesome, or the lesson was awesome? I was awesome and the lesson was awesome. Oh, I was awesome and the lesson was awesome. Okay, awesome, double thumbs up. That is it from Fargo.